The past week, our Suncoast beaches have seen a rough water pattern, creating rip currents in swimming areas. SNN's Danny Rue talked to Lido beachgoers to see how they're faring. We picked this spot because it's real shallow and the kids are they're not going in under over two feet of water. That's Zachary Bass, who's vacationing from Mississippi. He says rip currents are something his family is very aware of. Due to recent onshore wind piling up water near the beach, this creates narrow channels allowing water to flow back out to sea, creating a suction-like rip current. Brian and Grace Suter of Lido Key see the currents in a different way. I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area and went to Santa Cruz, you know, most of my life. This is pretty mild for us. When the red flags are out for my daughters and I, we love it because we get to actually play in the waves. There is a bit of a current. It's going, taking you more that way down the beach. And then um, the waves are way bigger. I like it. It is rough. You can feel the water is pulling you to the side pretty hard. Definitely don't recommend it for somebody that's not a you know, a good swimmer or hasn't been in the water much. The United States Life Saving Association says if you were ever caught in a rip current, swim parallel to the beach out of the current, not against it. The rougher winds and water are expected to die down within the next couple of days, returning our calm Gulf waters. Reporting in Lido Beach, I'm Danny Root, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.